Hi guys and welcome back to Keep Smiling Adventures and today I am going to take you on a little bit of a different adventure because I have just finished the Trans Cambian Way if you've just watched that video. Hello again and I am currently at Dovey Junction train station and in this video I am going to well vlog the process of bikepacking home. Now already to start the trip I already have to wait about 53 minutes just for the first train. Now in Wales right now, there is loads of rail bus replacements and you can't take your bike. So basically what I'm going to have to do is take a train from here to Newtown and then cycle 25 miles to a place called Craven Hills. But we're not going to be able to do that all today because I'll just get too late. So what we're going to actually have to do is uh, hopefully be able to get this train, but I haven't booked the bike yet. We're going to go through that in a minute. And then we... I've got a cycle 25 miles, find somewhere to camp, to then book another train for in the morning some time, and that will only get me as far as Salisbury. Because, well, going all the way to Bournemouth always adds like an extra like 20 quid, and it's just too much, and I'd rather just cycle from Salisbury. So, first of all, I need to see if I can get this train from Dover Junction to Newtown, which will be the closest I can get to Craven Craven, Craven Arms, that's the one. So as you may know, in the UK you need to book your bike on. It basically has to have its own ticket. Now I am in a place where there is no... Finished? So as I was saying, you need to book your bike on a train. Now there is actually, where I am right now, there is not even a ticket office, there's no ticket machines, there's nothing, there's no way to collect tickets. So I'm gonna do it on train line, but I'm gonna see if I can book my bike onto the next available train, which is the 1753, as you can see. Now before I buy it on train line, we're gonna to go to Great Western Railway, not the app, because for some reason it's not available in the app, but their web app works. And then sign into your account. Yes, you need an account, it's annoying. Go to bookings, or view bookings. Let it load. And then you can go to make a seat or bike reservation. And then just pop in all the details you need. So I'm in Dovey Junction. For some reason, they haven't optimized it for an iPhone. So I need to switch my phone to go like that, just so I can find the bloody service bike press that one bike please add reservation unfortunately is unable to make a bike reservation now this is pretty common if you're doing it so soon normally you need like a good few hours or even a day so basically what I'm gonna have to do is just uh, it's just wing it basically um, I'm just gonna have to buy the ticket and I'm gonna have to go if I can't take that one then hopefully I can take the last one of the day because there's only two trains left. It's going to cost me £9.20 to get to uh, Newtown. Nothing's open, it's a Sunday. <clears throat> but we did make it to Newtown. And that was incredibly lucky that I decided to actually finish the Transcambian Way today instead of tomorrow because between Monday to Saturday, there's no trains. So I would have ended up having to ride about 60 miles to Craven Arms instead of the 25 that I gotta to do tonight. But I have managed to book my bike on from Craven Arms all the way back to Salisbury tomorrow for a whopping 34 pounds. Going from Craven Arms at about half 11 tomorrow. So 
plenty of time. One thing I will say is that if you ever find yourself at a train station that has no ticket office and there's no way of picking up tickets and you want to take a bike on, just don't bother buying a ticket online. Just get on and then if a ticket guy comes, just buy it off them directly. There's nothing they can do if there's no ticket machine or anything machine at the station just get on and don't really worry about it too much and i should also say the prices that 34 pound that i've just had the luxury of paying to get back to salisbury not even to bournemouth is um even with a rail card welcome to the uk train fare prices right i need to crack on i've put a route together a quick route together just basically on commute just to get me to Craven Arms. It's about 25 miles according to that sign right in front of me. And um, we're not gonna do that all now. We're just gonna go basically and look for somewhere to camp before it gets dark in about an hour. So I'm gonna climb this massive, massive hill and uh, let's find somewhere to camp for tonight. Let's do it. I mean, I found the perfect, uh, perfect field. Well, Sean the sheep over there. Go to sleep. I want to sleep too. I think we're just going to keep hiking up here and hopefully it'll lead to somewhere. But the noisy sheep will just stop. Good morning guys, good morning. You probably can't see me, it's still dark. Um, the birds have woken up. They haven't, they obviously haven't um, changed their clocks. Um, sun is gonna rise in like half an hour, I think. I ended up sleeping in next to the sheep field, snuck in when it was dark and uh, I win. You didn't see me and I got in, haha, <laughs> I win. Right, today should be pretty straightforward, but you know, we are on UK train, so who knows. Basically, I've got about 15 miles to get to Craven Arms, and then from there, I need to pick up my bike reservations. I have my train tickets, so that's all good. I did it through train line and managed to book the, um, the bike on through the Great Western Railway app. Well, not the app, the web app. So, and then from there, we just have two trains to take. We go from Craven Arms to Newport and then Newport straight to Salisbury and then I have a nice sort of bikepacking-y type route back to Bournemouth. So I'm going to get packed up and um, we're going to get underway. First stop, Craven Arms. Morning all sheep. Nice to see you. Good morning. Have a nice day. I'm going to Bournemouth now. Bye. This is when the gravel bike is definitely where it comes into its own. On the adventures when you need to get from one place to another place. It's not like this bike isn't great, but when it's just having to go on the road for a bit of a slog, I tell you what, 100% I would choose the gravel bike. It's just way more robust in that kind of category. So guys, we have made it to Craven Arms. That means I think we're in Shropshire now. So we have made out of Wales with only a 25 mile bike ride and a 10 pound ticket. Now, there is a slight issue. I've gone to the Craven Arms train station to see if I could print the bike reservations. And apparently you can't do that 
um, without the ticket from um, Great Western as well. So obviously because I booked it on Trainline, um, well, I can't actually print it. But as far as I'm concerned, I have a reservation here. It says I have a, have a reservation, so I'm not actually worried. Now I have an advanced single, so I actually have to wait for this specific train from Craven, um, Craven Arms. Then from Newport, it doesn't really matter which train I get because I've got an anytime single. So even if I can't manage to get the bike on, I can just get any. So it's only really this first one that I'm actually kind of worried about. But it's about 11.30, so I think it should be quiet enough by then. Um, and it's a Monday, so hopefully everyone will be at work. Now normally if I book a bike and my ticket at the same time through the Great Western app, you have to collect them, and that's what I thought I'd have to do while doing that. Apparently, I'm just gonna have it on my phone. Um, I will say, if you're doing that, make sure you have your physical bank card because you have to actually put it in the machine um, to actually collect your tickets. I don't know why, but this is UK train travel. Now we're in Craven Arms, and I've got about three hours to wait. I need to go find some food. I'm starving. So we have made it to Newport. I just got this message from Trainline basically saying the train is cancelled. Uh, but I've got to Newport and it, says, it still says it's on time and stuff, so fingers crossed it will be on time. All this just to get home, hey? So just one more train to go. I've got about a 44 minute wait. Uh, so much waiting for these trains. And then it's just one nice long trip all the way back to Salisbury and then a nice little bike ride back to Bournemouth if the train turns up. Fingers crossed. The train to Salisbury actually wasn't cancelled, so train line, I don't know what you're on about. We're in sunny England again. Kind of sunny. Now, the reason I nearly nearly always on bikepacking trips, especially if I've come from like Wales or sort of Cornwall, that sort of area, get off at Salisbury and just cycle the rest is because, wow, well, let's say it was £34 from Wales. And then, if I want to go all the way back to Bournemouth from Salisbury, it's normally another 15 to 20 pounds. So yesterday when I looked, it was 34 versus about like 55. So you can see why I'd rather just cycle the 25 more miles. And I've got a nice little off-roady route and it's nice and pleasant and easy. But that is sort of, how I get home from bikepacking trips. It's not always easy and it's uh, not always straightforward. That was a little look of how I get back from my bikepacking trips. Now I've barely got any memory left on this camera left so I'm gonna end this video here. If you enjoyed this little bit of a different kind of vlog of me getting home make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next adventure. Keep smiling, enjoy the adventure. Peace.